Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Big news coming from Microsoft that Microsoft is retiring DP203 certification on March 31st, 2025. That means DP203 certification will no longer be available post March 31st. But don't worry, it's just the beginning of exciting new era with Microsoft as they have introduced DP700, a new data engineering certification using Microsoft Fabric. So in this video, I'll try to explain why DP203 is being retired, what Microsoft Fabrics brings to the table, and what you should do to stay ahead as a data engineer in Azure tech stack. Let's dive in. So let's try to understand why Microsoft phasing out of DP203. The old way of managing data was complex. You need to jump between the tools like Azure Data Factory, for moving data, Azure Synapse for analytics, Azure Databricks for big data processing. Now each tool had separate dashboard, setup and scaling methods. This made workflow fragmented, time consuming and hard to manage. But what business wants? They want faster insights for better decision, simpler workflows with fewer tools and unified platform to handle everything in one place. To implement these, Microsoft Fabric came into the picture. Fabric is a game changer that unifies everything you need for data engineering in one platform. Let me explain. Imagine you're working on a data migration project. Normally, you would use Data Factory to move the data from on-prem to cloud, store it in ADLS, switch to Databricks to process it, analyze it in Synapse for data warehousing, and visualize it in Power BI. Now, that's a lot of switching, right? You need to create multiple services in Azure just to do data migration and manage all these services end to end. Now with Fabric, all you need to do is create one service called Fabric and all these services are integrated in one platform. So you no need to switch one service to another as all the services which are related to data engineering are incorporated in one platform. So here what makes Fabric special? Unified platform, that is data lake, data warehouse, real-time streaming, and AI all in one system. Unified storage, where you have one lake to store the data, which can be accessed by all the team without data redundancy. Seamless collaboration. You can use the tools like Power BI, Data Factory, Notebooks for Spark Code, Data Science Tool, Synapse for Data Warehouse, all together without creating multiple services. Simplified security. Manage governance and compliance from one single dashboard. Smart scaling. Fabric automatically adjusts resource like compute and storage. As a result, you spend less time in managing tool and more time in delivering insights. Now, as a data engineer, what you should do? If you are preparing for DP203, you still got time. Examination is available till March 31st, 2025. It's a great way to learn foundation skills like data integration with Azure Data Factory, big data processing with Databricks, analytics with Synapse, Cosmos DB, IoT app and streaming analytics for streaming. These skills will help you transition to Microsoft Fabric later. So if you are starting as a fresh, then go for new certification, that is DP700, which will be live from Jan 28, 2025, which mainly focuses on integration of data into one lake using Fabric, creating a, of optimized modern architecture like Lakehouse, Spark integration using Fabric notebooks, built-in stream analytic pipelines, integrating AI for productive insights. Now remember, these tools may change, but core skills like ETL, data governance, and performance remains intact. So always focus on fundamental first. To sum up, DP203 retirement is not the end. It's a new beginning. Microsoft Fabric is here to simplify workflows, improve efficiency, and make you future ready data engineers. So if you are already skilled in Azure, use DP203 to build a strong foundation. If you are starting fresh, DP700 will set you for the success with Azure Tech Stack. Thanks for watching. Remember, change is an opportunity to grow. Let's embrace the future of data engineering together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on Azure and other data engineering tools. If you would like to know more about the preparation of DP600 and DP700 certification, do drop in the comments down below. We'll try to make a video on top of that. See you in the next video. Keep learning, keep growing.